In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to pin emails in Gmail so that they will show up in their own section above all the other emails in your inbox. To pin an email in Gmail, you actually star it by clicking on these stars here, but you will need to change a few settings first so that all of your starred emails appear up the top of your inbox in their own section like pinning emails in any other email app. So, the main setting you'll need to change is you need to come up here to the settings button here and click that. And then normally when you're changing settings in Gmail, you would click see all settings, but you don't actually have to do that for this. You can just scroll down in this menu here. And when you get to inbox type, it should be set to default at the moment, but you want to change it to starred first so that all of your starred or pinned emails will be pinned up the top of your inbox. So we'll click starred first here, and now it will reload, and we can close this panel to get rid of that settings menu. And now, as you can see here, we have everything else so this is all the normal emails in your inbox, and we have starred. And there's currently no emails in here. If you had already starred some emails in your inbox, they would already be showing up here ready for you. So if you had some of those, they'd be in there. And you might have even starred emails ages ago and forgotten about it. So you might find a few quite old emails that you'd forgotten about here, but if that happens, you can just unstar them and then they'll disappear from that section. And that's really the main setting you need to change before you can start pinning emails in Gmail. But there are a few other little tweaks that Timmy would probably recommend. If you come up to the three dots up here in the top corner of the starred section and you click here, Timmy would recommend you click hide section when empty. So if you don't currently have any starred emails, you won't see the starred section, but then when you do have starred emails, it will reappear. So it's up to you whether you want to do this. If you don't use this and you occasionally don't have any pinned or starred emails, you will just see this message here that says star messages will appear here. But to me, would probably click hide section when empty. So now it will be hidden when empty. So if we click the refresh button here, it's now disappeared because Timmy doesn't have any starred emails. But if we just go through and click on the star on a few emails to pin them, and then we refresh again, you'll see the starred section will appear and all of these starred emails will be in it. And the other thing you might want to change is this section down here with all of your main emails will probably only be showing you the most recent 10 emails you've received. And you might be fine with that, but you probably want a few more than the last 10. So to change that, you just need to click on the three dots in the top right corner of this main everything else inbox section. So click on that here and then it should be set to 10, but you can change it all the way up to 50. And now you'll have a much longer list of all your inbox emails, much more like you would normally have if you didn't have this starred section up the top here. But apart from that, that's really all Timmy would recommend tweaking. Now you're ready to just star or pin your emails. So you can just go through your emails and any email that you want to pin up in this section here, just click on the star. It doesn't happen immediately. After you click the star, you will need to click this refresh button up here for the email to jump up. But once you do, it'll jump up there. So we might start this email and this email and this email. And then when we click refresh, it'll put all of those up here and when they're up here, they're still just like regular emails. So you can open it and read it and you can reply to it or delete it 
or do anything you want to do with it, just like that. It's just showing up in this starred section here. And just like adding it to the pin section or starred section, whenever you want to unpin the emails, it's basically the same thing. You just click on the star of any email you want to remove and then click the refresh button. And now all of those emails will go back down to the main everything else section. And that's really all there is to pinning and unpinning emails in Gmail. But there are a few little different things you might notice now that you have your inbox showing in this layout, where there's the starred and unstarred emails. One of them is that you actually don't have pages you can go through anymore. So if we quickly just switch it back to the default view, just to show you what it's normally like. You normally have these arrows up here. So if you're looking for an older email and it's not anywhere in here, you could click this arrow and go back to a page to see emails that are even older. And you can just keep scrolling through and back and back to see older and older emails if you want. But when it's set to show starred first, like this, those arrows actually aren't there. So all you can see is your 50 most recent emails in your inbox. And that's really fine for almost all of the time. But if you're occasionally looking for an older email that you would have received and left in your inbox longer ago than these last 50, there's a little thing you can do to see all of those emails again. You could change, go to the settings and just change it back like Timmy just did then. And then remember to change it back to starred first afterwards. And that would be okay. Or you could click on these three dots here next to everything else. And then in this menu, click show more messages. And now it will just show you all of the emails in your inbox. So you have all of these here. And if you want to go even older, you can click this arrow and go back. It's just like your normal inbox. And then when you want to go back to starred first, you just click inbox here and it will go back to normal. So that's one thing that's a bit different. And the other thing will be the category sections. If we go back to the standard inbox again, by clicking on settings and default, you'll see you probably normally have these three categories up here, primary and promotions and social, and all of your emails will probably be sorted into these three different categories. To me actually prefers to disable this and not have these categories because to me finds it a bit strange having the categories there anyway, because you kind of have to look in three different places to find an email that you might have received. But if you have these categories on and they're showing here, when you switch it back to starred first, you'll see the categories are actually not there. And that's okay because all of your emails that are in your inbox will just be here. So it's not like you're missing emails because the other two categories aren't showing up. All of your inbox emails will be here, but you might find it a bit different not having those three categories. And unfortunately, there's not any way that to make and find where you can have the categories and you can have emails pinned up the top here like this. So you kind of have to choose between the categories or having this pin section. Timmy would choose the pin section because Timmy doesn't really like the categories. But if you do like having three categories, you might find that a little bit annoying. But that's all there is to this video. So hopefully you found it helpful and Timmy will see you in the next one.